I'm back with part two of my top retiring Lego sets for investing from every theme. I originally intended to make this a two part series, but I didn't get as much time to plan this video as I wanted to, so I'm extending it to be a three part series. If you didn't get a chance to watch my first video, I definitely recommend going back to watch it right now. I gave some important insight into my approach to Lego investing that's relevant to this video. Also, all sets discussed in this video are projected to retire by both the BrickTap and Brick Fanatics retirement lists. Let's jump right where we left off with the ideas theme. I have the A-frame cabin set number 21338, MSRP of $179.99, released in February of 2023, so it'll have a one year and 11 month shelf life if it retires at the end of this year. I've talked about this set several times in the past, including my most recent top 10 sets for investing video, where I had it at number seven. There still seems to be a lot of mixed feelings about this set in the investing community, which is great for people like me who are in on it for investing. The only reason I see that could negatively impact this set for investing is the chance that it has a lingering stock past 2024, and people are afraid of that because of the medieval blacksmith that retired last year that is still available. This could happen to any set, so I can't hold that potential issue against it. This set is seriously undersupplied. Take a look at the new offer count chart on Keepa. Only 11 sellers currently, and it's never had more than 13. It's been at or near MSRP almost its entire shelf life so far, except for a couple times it briefly went down to 20% off. This set is highly loved by the LEGO community and very unique. I don't expect LEGO will release another A-frame cabin of this scale for a while. At a price point of $180, it shows strong demand, ranging from 500 to 1,000 units sold per month on Amazon this year, while rarely being significantly discounted. There's clear continued collectability as people look to expand their LEGO cities, especially with sets that are more unique. If this trend of no significant sales continues throughout its shelf life, buying from either LEGO, Kohl's, or Barnes & Noble will probably be your best bet for being able to stack up discounts. I'm looking to buy this set for investing at a 40% discount after discount stacking. For Indiana Jones, I have the Fighter Plane Chase set number 77012, MSRP of $34.99, released in April of 2023, so it'll have a one year and nine month shelf life. I typically don't like investing in themes that were only around for a short amount of time and probably won't have any future sets made in a theme, but this is a unique set. The plane is based off a military plane used in World War II, and the pilot of the plane is authentic to what German pilots wore during that time. I'm definitely not an expert on this subsection of LEGO fans, but there's a large fan base of collectors who love anything they can get in LEGO form that somewhat resembles a military vehicle or uniform. If you want to learn more about this, I'd honestly just check out the comments section in any review video on this set, and you'll see LEGO military and World War II collectors very excited about this plane and the pilot minifigure. LEGO has a strong stance of not making modern military vehicles or figures, but there's so much demand that there are plenty of companies out there that make custom army minifigures for these collectors. LEGO has made a few military related planes in the past and they're very popular in these communities like 10226 Sop with Camel, also 3451 Sop with Camel, 10024 Red Baron, and the cancelled 42113 V22 Osprey. This set also has more demand than any other Indiana Jones set. On Amazon, it regularly sells 1 to 2,000 units a month, while the other two range from 300 to 800. Granted, they do have higher price points. When you look at the prices of the current offers on Amazon, there's one priced under MSRP, two at MSRP, then the price quickly jumps up to $40 and $50. A large factor for me when considering a set for investing is how much supply is out there and how much above or below the third party offers are from the set's MSRP. We've seen it discounted to 20% off from many retailers, so you will need to get it cheaper than that to gain an edge on other investors buying at that price. I will consider buying at a 40% discount. For Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, I have Dilophosaurus Ambush set number 76958, MSRP of $19.99, released in June of 2023, so it'll have a one year and seven month shelf life. I am not a big fan of many Jurassic World or Park sets for investing, but this one does have the best metrics in my opinion of the sets retiring this year. It's been selling between two and 6,000 units per month on Amazon. It does have more third-party offers than I'd like to see at 50 currently, but the lowest price is at $28, already 40% over MSRP. And with its very high demand and low price point, I could see demand eating up the current supply quickly. It's a really solid Jeep build that also includes a unique dyno that's valued at around $7 on BrickLeak at the moment. I'd consider picking this set up if I see it discounted around 45 to 50% off. If you're enjoying this video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more in-depth LEGO investing content. 
For the Marvel theme, a very close runner-up is 76275 Motorcycle Chase, Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. I have quite a few of this set and I'm very high on it for investing, but this other set has slightly better metrics. And that is 10792 Drill Spinner Vehicle, MSRP of $9.99. Released in March of 2024, so it'll only have a 10 month shelf life. This set is going very under the radar. I don't think I've seen anyone mention it for investing. It has had a very short shelf life, too many figures, one is unique, and the combined value is at about $8, which is almost the entire value of the set. I've never seen it discounted once so far throughout its shelf life, and its supply in the aftermarket definitely reflects that. On Amazon, there are only 10 offers. The lowest is an MSRP, but after that, it jumps up to $17, then $20. I would like to see a little bit better demand numbers. It sold about 600 to 1,000 units a month throughout its shelf life, but if it had seen 20% off, I'm sure it would be over 1,000 units a month easily. I'd love to see this set at the end of the year on a brief 40% discount directly, or 20% off from a retailer like Kohl's with 30% Kohl's cash stacked on top of it. On to Minecraft, I have 21244, the Sword Outpost. It has an MSRP of $44.99, released in January of 2023, so it will have a two-year shelf life when it retires at the end of this year. The Minecraft theme used to have some really good performers, but the theme has not been great over the past couple years due to many more people investing in the theme. I do have hope that this year there will be some good performers in the theme because there has been a significant drop in third party sellers on Amazon for Minecraft sets while on the shelves when compared to previous years, as well as increased cultural relevance with a Minecraft movie coming out in April of 2025. Out of all the Minecraft sets retiring this year, visually this set stands out the most and features the iconic Minecraft sword. It's been incredibly popular throughout its shelf life, selling 20,000 units over last Q4. In my opinion, this set has the best numbers surrounding it for investing from the Minecraft theme. It consistently sells 4 to 7,000 units a month, which is phenomenal for the price point and it only has 23 sellers. That's low for a set that moves this much volume. There are only 3 sellers under MSRP, then it quickly jumps up to 55 plus. There's a lot to be excited about for the retiring Minecraft sets this year with a movie next year. There will be some big winners in this theme retiring this year. A lot of it will have to do with what sets have references to that movie. But at this point, this is the set I like the most from the theme and will be picking it up if I see it at 40% off. The last theme for this video is Monkey Kid and I have 80041 Maze Dragon Jet. MSRP of $19.99, released in January of 2023, so it'll have a two year shelf life. I haven't talked about Monkey Kid on my channel, but I used to be a big believer in this theme. My biggest sleeper set last year that I exclusively talked about on my Patreon was Heavenly Realm set number 80039. It had an MSRP of $189.99. It doesn't even have an Amazon listing, but most sold listings on eBay are already around $330 to $350. There have been some really great performers from this theme. That said, my outlook on this theme has changed over the course of this year. What really worked was that they were incredibly low supply because they're online LEGO exclusive sets. I also like that most of them went on sale from LEGO at the end of the year, and I was able to stack up very good discounts on them with GWPs, Insiders Points, Cashback Sites, and so on. Most of the first wave of Monkey Kid has not done well because they were also sold on Amazon and had way more supply in the aftermarket. After that wave, they became exclusive to LEGO, and those sets have performed much better. I had hoped that the show would become more popular in the US, but that just hasn't happened yet, and I'm pretty much out on waiting for it to happen. Additionally, more investors have been talking about Monkey Kid, which will increase its supply in the already fragile aftermarket for this theme. There is very low demand for this theme, but it still worked for investing because there were barely any sellers. I still believe that many years down the road, some of these sets will be incredible performers, but for my investing strategy, I'm not willing to wait that long. I'm also trying to go deeper into less sets, and I don't have confidence that I'll be able to sell large quantities of these sets due to the incredibly low demand. With all that out of the way, if I had to pick one set, it would be this one because of its supply numbers and price point. On Amazon, there are only three sellers and the lowest available is $60. On eBay, there are only five US sellers and the lowest available is $33. As I mentioned, the problem is that these sets don't sell fast at all, so many sellers are going to get impatient with these sets and lower prices. At the end of the day, I'm probably avoiding this theme, but at 40% off, it's not a bad buy in my opinion. We're getting into the best part of the year for LEGO investing where we're selling and buying a ton, and I personally think LEGO investing is much more fun when you have a community around you. My LEGO investing community is very, very active, and we'll be on the lookout for the best deals over the next few months. If this interests you, check out the link in the description below for the full breakdown of all the perks included in my Patreon.
All right, those are all the themes I had to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like below and subscribe to my channel for more LEGO investing content. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on the sets and themes I talked about in this video in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next video. As always, my videos are not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only sharing my journey as a LEGO investor and I encourage you to do your own research before buying any LEGO sets.